When things don't work out for you, there is a higher purpose. I realized I literally had this in the thumbnail of a previous video, so I guess this is kind of going to be an expansion on what I've already previously talked about, but yet another experience happened to me, several experiences really, that made me feel like I really want to talk about this. Um, so where do I want to start? Sometime last year, I was working this job, this desk job, honestly, just for money. I did enjoy it, but it was really difficult for me, not going to lie. And um, as someone that is an actor and also a fashion designer, this secondary job is honestly just for income. Nothing I want to do forever. Nothing that has to do with uh, my career, honestly. just It was just money. It was just me needing a real job in the meantime while I, you know, chase my dreams, if you will. And that job didn't end up working out. And at the time, I was so devastated. I was like, oh my god, I'd spent all year trying to find a real job so I can make some money. And now I'm back in a pretty shitty situation and I was so upset and I came home back to this house actually as you peep I'm not in my typical space in my house I am in Maryland right now with my family and I was here for Christmas and um at whatever Christmas party they had here I was up up in one of the bedrooms talking to my older cousin and um me and my cousins that are my age we were talking to our older cousin and she was kind of dropping some jewels on us you know just giving us some advice and i told her about that job and you know everyone in my family knows i'm an actor that's that's what i'm doing that's what i meant to do and oh son. god i miss the sun feels so great out here feels so great looks so great and we were talking and i told her about that and she had told me she was like you know whenever you're you're whenever you do things that aren't aligned with your purpose the purpose you know you have or maybe you don't know you have maybe you don't even know what your purpose is yet but um you're unconsciously doing things that don't align with your purpose because you don't know what it is when you do things that aren't aligned with your purpose god will make sure it doesn't work out no matter what you do if it's not what you're supposed to be doing it will continuously fall through and i've had so many experiences in the last um over the last year, honestly, it's been a very tough year. I think I'm handling it well. Honestly, at, at this point, I think I'm handling it pretty well, but so many transformative experiences, so much um, so much healing, so much growth, so much learning for me. And I realized that so many things have happened to me that have like not worked out. And I've chosen to have a lens um, now. I'm choosing to have a lens of life is working out for me. Things are happening for me, not to me. At the time when all these things fell apart, it felt like, oh my God, like, why is this happening? Why can't I just win? Why can't things just work out? Maybe there's something better. There is something so much better. Something so much better. I have yet to get there. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Cause I woke up and yet another thing fell through. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I know that clearly that ain't it. And instead of being salty, instead of being upset, instead of falling into that victim mindset of why me, why is this happening to me? I'm choosing to be grateful. Thank you, God, for protecting me from that experience that I didn't know I didn't need. Thank you, God, for this job. Okay, so fast forward. So that was that was what started this conversation in my mind, right? This That's what started this inner conversation. Christmas with my cousin, she had said that, and I was like, dang, you're right. That makes sense why that job didn't work out because I'm supposed to be acting. And it's even funnier. Again, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I'm going to mention some other points in this video. So it is different. If you're interested in that video, you can watch it. I will put it up here somewhere. So you guys can see that later but um it's so funny how i was struggling to get a real job all real job all last year and yet i booked more acting jobs than i ever had like i did two feature films this year just got offered a role for another one i didn't i didn't end up taking it but i got offered a role for another one did a bunch of commercials got a bunch of callbacks last year around the same time that those real jobs weren't working out that is because i'm not supposed to have a real job I realize this now because let that pass <laughs> I realize now uh, it's summertime I'm yet again looking for another little part-time just something fun um, just some money okay just some side money that you can never have too many jobs honestly right still auditioning I actually just did an audition before this um, MXL is doing well like all that's doing fine but I still did want another job Applied to this job, um, got like all the way to the end of the interviews. They seemed to really love me. I was good at it. I was amazing at it. I really wanted to work there, honestly. It's like, yeah, like I love this place. And um, that fell through. I woke up this morning to the email. Yeah, we moved on other candidates. And I was like, here we fucking go. <laughs> here we go again. And it's like, 
for a second i was like why does this keep happening like why can i just not get a damn job it's frustrating it's annoying part of that is that's part of why i'm doing youtube like i'm trying to make some money here <laughs> i'm trying to you know more than that i really do like doing this this is healing and therapeutic for me and i really do love talking to people giving advice and um just by seeing the comments i'm surprised so many people at this stage in my youtube career are really are really vibing with what i say and i'm i'm very 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 grateful that i'm able to help people that makes that's something i didn't even know i needed in my life i didn't know i needed um or really would enjoy helping people as much as i have been with this channel so i'm very grateful for this um but yeah so that fell through and i was like dang like again like again like why not like i was perfect for the job like why not why not universe why not god why not what's the issue here and i thought back to what my cousin said and it's like it doesn't align with my purpose it's not acting because why as soon as that fell through had an audition boom and it's like i feel like the older i get the harder i have to learn that lesson it's like every single time i try to minimize myself dim my light you know just 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 conform to the average lifestyle that I know I don't even like and I'm not really meant for and never have been meant for it continuously doesn't work out none of that does so I told you guys about the job example that also that also <laughs> my cousin just gum that also just uh, that also applies to um, guys you know so many guys like I'm talking to and then it don't really work out and I'm just like again here we go again like why me why not why not why not why can't it work out with these guys because these guys are fucking bums and it's crazy because i knew that from jump but me being ready to move on ready for love ready for a relationship ready for a job ready for whatever it is i'm seeking currently i want to rush it right because when we're ready for things i feel like we all i'm just gonna say we if you disagree feel free to disagree in the comments battle it out i don't care but i feel like when we really really want something as soon as we see we see something that looks like that thing we want, we grab it, right? When really, that's God testing us. That's the universe testing us. The universe is testing me. The universe say, you want a man? I'm going to give you three. They ain't going to be the right ones, but I'm going to see if you can tell that they're the wrong guys. And clearly, I couldn't. And then it doesn't work out, and I'm, and I'm upset for a second. And I'm like, no, God is saving me. The universe is saving me from dealing with the wrong kind of people. The wrong friends i've had friendships fall through as of late i've, I've been um make trying to make new friends you know uh, adult god maintaining adult friendships is its own thing i'm gonna make it that's another video i'm gonna make let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video honestly i'll probably do it anyway but let me know if you would like me to talk about um making friendships as an adult in your 20s um and like what specifically what i'm doing for that but yeah i've had friendships fall through i'm like talking to girls i'm, I'm hanging with the same person consistently like every week or so for like months and then suddenly they just like ghost and I'm like why like I'm trying to make friends I'm trying to meet people here I'm trying to build a life and these things keep falling through and it's crazy because from jump from jump from day one with that friend like they will say or do something that kind of turned me off and I'm like mm, I don't know if we're that compatible but because I'm so ready for friendship so ready for love I'll kind of I've noticed my own toxic trait within myself I'll kind of I guess settle for that like oh I just want a friend so fuck it like let's just hang out and then they ghost and then I get mad. But no, you, the universe is saving me from that friendship because the universe knows there's a better friend for me. Me and that friend already were barely working out. Me and whatever guys were barely working out. Me and these jobs, these jobs are irrelevant because I'm an actor. Those jobs are irrelevant. When you're not aligned with your purpose, things are not going to work out for you. God will make sure, will strike down every single thing you try to do if the things you're trying to do are less than you. God will strike down, the universe will strike down every single thing you try to do if what you were trying to do is less than you, you are meant for so much more than you are allowing yourself to experience. You were meant for so much more, so much greater. And it's crazy because I know this. I've already known this. And yet, for whatever reason, I still keep trying to minimize myself. Y'all, last part, and then I'll wrap this up because I want this video to be short, unlike most of them. Um, I was at the club, or not at the club. I was at a bar. Where was this? I was just hanging out with my friends. I was out random parties, right? It was just I was at this um, person's house, and I'm talking to this dude, and um, he straight he straight told me, mind you, we don't even know each other. We talked casually throughout the night a little bit, but we're just sitting at the table, and he's like, "I can tell you're bigger than what you allow yourself to be." He straight just read my energy, and he the crazy part is he's not the first person to say that. He was like, "I can tell you are so much more than you allow yourself to be. You're minimizing yourself. Like you are so powerful. I can feel it." And I was like, "You know what? You damn right. Let me reintroduce myself." And I straight, I told him about my acting, my business, and all these other things I don't always mention because, again, the minimizing. 
being humble. Fuck that humble shit, okay? If you know that if you know that you're, you're the shit, you need to just be the shit. You need to be that bitch, okay? Do not accept less than what you deserve. Do not accept less than what you know you even want. You know you want a certain thing? Don't settle for the cheap version of that. Don't settle for the for the store brand version of that. You get the name brand. Get the name brand life cuz that's what you deserve. And with that being said, I'm going to peace out from this video. I hope the framing is good. I hope it looks and sounds good. And I hope y'all liked it. If you do, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm new to this YouTube stuff. I try to post every week or so. So I'm going to, you know, be as on that as possible. But I would really love if y'all could blow up my channel.